What's up YouTube, Marty here. Coming at you guys today with a little how-to video. Um, it's gonna be a little bit different today. It's actually working on a chainsaw carburetor. Uh, reason why I'm doing this is because I got an old chainsaw that I have that I'm trying to not really restore, but just get running you know, well enough to actually use. Um, <clears throat> so let's get into it here. Uh, here we have an old Walbro. Uh, it's the, what is it, HDB carburetor. Okay, uh, got a rebuild kit. It's the uh, K10-HDB. Uh, this kit comes with a whole bunch of stuff. It comes with a new screen, uh, your needle, and then all the different gaskets. I'll kind of explain those once I pull this apart here. All right, guys, just a couple tools you'll need would be like a pick. I got one with a 90. Um, it's just to get your little screen out. And then I got two uh, flathead screwdrivers, just one's bigger than the other. <clears throat> We're going to start off by taking apart either side. Doesn't really matter. Um, start here. Just take this one center screw off. Jeez Louise. Ugh. Now, as you start taking this apart, it's very important to put all these pieces kind of in an order. So I'm going to take this little cover and the screw it came with, just set it over there. That's number one. And then we have, oof, this stinks like gas really bad. <laughs> um, then we have a gasket, put that there. I got the little diaphragm thingy. Ooh, we got gunk in here again. Put that in there. Oh, so now we got the cover off and then the gasket and the diaphragm. Now we're gonna get this uh, little um, screen out. Just kind of take your pick and pull her out here. Oh, look at my gunk in there. Uh, we got that screen out. I just took my choke, or sorry, my carb cleaner, and I just went ahead and um, sprayed it out a little. I did that off camera or in the house. Um, so I got that cleaned up. Now we're going to open up our um, little kit here and see what. Where are the scissors? <laughs> really? Them. Good thing we got a second pair. Okay. So there's some little parts in your kit here, so just be careful. Oh, that's a smushed screen, so that's great. So we'll definitely need this one, I know that. There's two different options for this. Well, that's on the other side of the carb though. Man, this thing looks pretty icky. We'll need that one as well. That's also on the other side. Um, and then these are these two here. This one's the gasket. It's definitely thick material. This is like a rubber gasket. This one's like cardboard. So that's that. And then this one is like a little diaphragm type. Also a different material than the original rubber one. Um, kind of cool thing to note and mention and notice is they got these little tabs on the side. That's so you can get them aligned properly. Um, so you're not like misaligning it. Cause obviously, I mean, you can get these spun around different ways and stuff. But anyway, so looks like as far as the different gaskets and plates and stuff, these are the only ones we'll have different options for. So that's good. That's the other side, though. So we'll wait for that. Um, we'll get started here by putting in our little screen. And I forgot one more thing. 
<laughs> to push that screen down in there, there's one tool that just does the trick. It's just, you can use any bit that's like a quarter inch size, you know, whatever. This is just an Allen one. I'm simply going to take it and push it down in there just like that. Okay, so now it's in there. That's that. That's good. Uh, now it's pretty much just time to start putting the side back together. We're going to start by putting this little, I don't know what you call this one. I would say it's a diaphragm, but it's made out of different material. Um, so that little, I don't even know what you call that either, but this is how you just know that it's, you got her lined up correctly. So you put that diaphragm on there, then you got your gasket, put that on top of that. Everything looks aligned pretty well. And then you got your top plate. Um, one thing to note with your top plate, it's got these little pins on it, one in each corner, or sorry, just two of the four corners. Um, that will only go on there the one way, just like so. Um, it's got that little stop on it as well for the throttle, so it'll only go so far. Now, I'm simply putting the center screw back in. little snug tight and we're good now we're gonna tear apart this side I use the smaller screwdriver you got four screws one in each corner so just like before we're gonna go ahead and place all our stuff in order so we don't forget or lose track got your four screws we got your top plate or whatever you want to call it um, we got this guy who's kind of stuck oh I remember oh crud it's got gas in there I'm gonna go outside quick <laughs> You helping Dad? Helping him with the carb? Yeah, just learning lots. You're gonna need a Phillips. Um, probably a smaller one, but we'll see. I grabbed two different sizes. Um, so before we get to the Phillips, uh, you got your two different pieces here and these are actually just stuck together real good um, one is like it would also be like a diaphragm or kind of like a float if you will so that and then you got the actual gasket itself um, let's get this stuff kind of out of the way so now we have to start tearing apart your circuit plate. This you have to be really careful because this has your your needle in there. So when that gas fills up inside here, that diaphragm touches this and uh, allows uh, then that actually your <laughs> you having fun. That actually it's your needle, and then that allows your gas to flow. So you just got to be careful because that. Um, that little lever that controls your needle is inside your circuit plate there. So it's, it's like integrated. So you gotta just be careful. Don't bend it or anything. Oof. So this guy here has two Phillips screws. Just be careful. Don't strip those out. Hold your circuit plate as you're removing both screws because there's a little spring in there that will want to pop out. So now you can kind of see. Um, be gentle. 
grab it and just set her down. Again, don't bend that little lever. It's got the fork on one end and the thing on that. Do not bend that. Um, now inside here, we've got the spring. And then we got your needle as well. <clears throat> and then you have your circuit plate gasket. We could take our pick, just kind of grab that guy out of there. This, um, I was already in this like a week ago and I did clean it out. The stuff that's the residue that's in there is just from the gasket material. I couldn't really get it to come off. So I just left it. Um, now looking at our, our, uh, circuit plate, we got the two different options for the gasket. This one should be flipped. So you tell me which one that looks like. I'm going to say this one. So this one here, we do not need. We'll just get rid of that. Okay, so that's what we're left with. Oh. That's what that other one is. I honestly didn't realize this until just now. So I have another little screen down here. This one that's folded in half. And this little... Um, clip it's like a C clip or whatever that actually looks like it goes right here I don't think I'm going to replace it though it kind of it looks like it'd be tough to do you guys can if you want I don't think I'm going to though we'll skip that one for now especially considering that one's already bent nice for me so um alright guys so now we're just going to put this back together Hey Google, stop the timer. I'll flip those. Where's the fork? Doing double duty. Okay. Oh, what you got a screwdriver? You got a screwdriver? You be careful with this. Don't poke your eye out, okay? Okay, we're ready. So we've got the uh, circuit plate gasket that's got to go in. Um, it's got a nice little key to tell you which way it goes. So right here on the corner, it's got this little tab. It goes right in there. Miles, you little guy. Nothing is safe. Give me that. <laughs> so that goes in there. Um, now we got to put the. Um, it's going to be a combination. <laughs> Boy. Uh, it's going to be a kind of combination of putting the spring and the needle back together with the circuit plate. So, it's going to be kind of tricky. Bear with me. I think I put the needle in first. And then, if I recall, I put the spring in. And then I took the circuit plate itself, kind of went in at an angle. Miles. Boy. These are my screwdrivers. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Um, it's kind of weird. Okay, Whew. hopefully we caught that on the video. So you kind of got to go up and over the spring and underneath the uh, needle itself. And then should be good. So again, holding your circuit plate down as you get these screws in there and tightened. Are you serious? I just kind of get her snugged up so then you can release, be a little more relaxed. Put this other one in. There we go. 
It was the bigger Phillips. Okay. So that should be that. Just ensure it moves nice and freely. That's good. <clears throat> when rebuilding these carbs, it's really nice. Uh, they really think about um, putting it together and, you know, the consumer actually dealing with it too. So they do have all these pins everywhere that just help you align things. So just keep an eye out for those. It makes it really easy putting it together. So we got the gasket on there. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the little diaphragm. And then, Miles. <laughs> How about this chainsaw? Look at this chainsaw. Look at that. Dad turned on for him, who likes it? Yeah. We gotta fire this thing up. There you go. All right, next is the top plate there. And then your four screws. <gasps> you shut it off. So we got the four screws in, tightened up good. And that's pretty much that. We rebuilt the carb. Jeez. Um, so yeah, that's that. How to rebuild your Wal Walbro HDB carb. Um, sorry, this video is kind of all over the place. There. Um, but yeah, so you'll need some flatheads, Phillips, nice pick to get that screen out. You'll want that little drive bit to push that screen back in. And then you'll need your K10-HDB rebuild kit, which is here. That's all the old stuff. Yeah. And that is that. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out um, to rebuild your carburetor. Uh, this is on a, I don't know what year, but it's a Dayton uh, 4Z397 chainsaw. It's a 3.7cc, um, something like that, Three, yeah, 3.7, whatever, that's the engine. It's basically the same as a uh, uh, Poulon 3700 3, chainsaw or a 3400. Um, yeah, it's, they're all pretty much the same thing. I think Craftsman's got like a 3.7 or a 3700 as well. Should all be pretty much the same. Anything with the HDB carburetor will essentially be the same. Um, so yeah, hopefully it helped. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up for this little cute helper of mine. Bye guys. You gonna say hi? Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. Take care.